Okay, this is the second violin part to Tchaikovsky's Sixth Symphony, last movement, starting at letter H and going to letter K. Um, so first, uh, let's just take those the, the notes of the run in separate bows just so you can be sure to get them really well in tune. So first of all, check your A sharp. Okay, A sharp. And then we'll just do separate bows. Um, sounds like this. steps I believe until you get to the uh, the um, the end of the bar going into measure 104 that's a whole step from the A to the B okay so um, um, yeah they are half steps all half steps A sharp to B half step half step they're all half steps until that one that one's a whole step but then the very next note is a half step because you're bringing the A natural up to an A sharp now and then here's your E sharp. Okay, I'll, um, the, the next two measures are exactly the same, although they're supposed to be fortissimo, but let's just play them for intonation. So this is measure 106. Okay, and if you're not sure if that E is in tune, you can always reach over and pluck that open E string. It should sound an octave. Oops an octave uh, matching. So continuing on, um, please make sure to get the C sharp, uh, high third finger at the end of measure 108. Um, then measure 109, please use fourth finger for the A. Also note the difference in the rhythm. Measure 108 is quarter note and steady eighth notes. Measure 109, now we're beginning with the, um, the dotted eighth and sixteenth rhythm. So it's one, two, Okay, so I get that rhythm very, very accurate. This is measure 110. Please use a fourth finger here at the end of measure 111. So four, three, don't play, don't play open and then change strings to the G sharp. Please use a fourth finger there, pencil it in if you need to. 112, again, fourth finger. Now we're just stretching up just a little bit for second position, fourth finger. Same thing, stretching up just a little bit to third position now for the fourth finger on the G. Creeping up again to, this would be what, fifth position I guess? Um, no, fourth position, sorry. And now here's your B flat. Now we're gonna do, um, where it has the, the two lines that look like tremolo, we're gonna actually play those measured, which means um, exactly four bows for every eighth note. So we're playing, um, what would that be? 64th notes, I guess, but four bows for every eighth note. So here's the C with four bows per eighth note. Okay, now at letter I, um, I'm gonna play through in a minute with the metronome at 120 for the eighth note. So you should hear four clicks in the half note at letter I um, with four bows per eighth note. So you can do the math. <laughs> and then uh, again, two clicks on the quarter note because remember we're, we're counting eighth notes. And then in the next measure, two clicks for the uh, quarter rest. So make sure that you're counting exactly right. So, um, so we're uh, still on the A string with your fourth finger. Here's the note B at letter I. I keep hitting wrong string, sorry. Um, so that will be one, two, three, four, one, two, rest, rest. One, two, three, four, rest, rest. Okay, now that jump, we're gonna have to practice that jump from the F to the F. Um, for the audition, I do want to hear you do the upper line part, um, even though in reality you might be the person playing the lower part. So um, just because it's hard, I do want you to practice it. So it is an F that you're jumping to, although you will have been coming from a 2. If, if you've been coming from a 1, it would be a piece of cake to find the octave. But you're coming from a 2. So you basically just do a little fourth finger extension. Okay, so you can kind of stretch into it. There it is. So I practice that a bunch of times. I was out, I overshot. Okay, then the next note after the F is an E natural, that's a half step. So let's get the intonation right first here. This is measure 119 starting on an F. Half step to E, whole step to D. Half step to C sharp, and then back up to the E. Okay, I'll do that again from 119. It's F, E, D, C sharp, E. And of course those will be uh, with the eighth notes, or, well, but the four bows per eighth note again. So the measured, um, the 64th notes. 
rest, rest, and then you've just ended on a two. You're gonna replace that two, I can't see it. Replace the two with a four. So it should sound exactly the same. Okay, we're now we're back just in third position. So play that D with a um, fourth finger and it will be a half step from D to C sharp. Okay, so that spacing there in measure 121, half step from D to C sharp, mark it in your part if you need the reminder, half step from D to C sharp, whole step to B, and then a half step to the A sharp, and back up to C sharp. Okay, that's the um, th that's the intonation there in measure one, um, 121. And then you just shift back to first position, rest. Stop it, letter K. We will do the uh, ritenuto slide down just a little bit. <clears throat> okay, now I will attempt to play through it with metronome marking at 120 for the eighth note. Okay, this is hard, wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so we'll give two clicks to start with the rest at letter H. So go one, two. <laughs> Tenuto there just because the metronome was clicking away. Um, but that's how to work it. Please take it very, very slowly. Make sure you really understand the um, the intonation is so, so important uh, with all of the, the stretches and the shifts and things. Um, but then also being able to keep it steady because if we're not able to keep it steady with a the metronome, then we're, we don't have a prayer of keeping it steady together as an orchestra. So that's how to work it out. And um, we'll see you at the audition. Good luck. <laughs>